package is sponsored by... Our pets are a big part of our family, and just like kids and adults, they can get sick. So here with some helpful information, if your pup goes under the weather, is veterinarian Courtney Wegard. Thank you so much for coming Hi, in. Hi, thank you. So pets can get sick, just like people, mm -hmm. right? Now, what are some ways to know if your pet is feeling under the weather? Really, I mean, this, as you can see, this uh, sweet puppy, Derby, who's bright and exuberant um, and full of energy, if for any reason he starts coughing, sneezing, any sort of nasal discharge, lethargy, um, most owners can tell right away something's wrong with my dog. Right. Uh, they're not themselves. <clears throat> they don't feel well today. They're not eating. Just little th signs like that. Okay. Come here, buddy. Now, there's an outbreak right now. Is that right? Now, you want everybody to kind of be aware of this. So what's the illness that people should really be looking for right now? Right. So there, a couple years ago, about, about 15 years ago, there was an outbreak of canine influenza virus, which just okay. like with humans, everybody is involved in the outbreak of flu and we right. all get vaccinated. Well, we don't really have a flu season for, for dogs. It's all the time. Oh, so okay. <clears throat> fortunately, um, back then we developed a vaccination. Most dogs who were exposed um, came away un unharmed and just okay. mild signs. But there are some severe cases where these dogs could get very sick and die. Okay. So now is it something that's kind of close in our area that we should really be looking for? Well, re as recently as 2015, a new strain of the canine influenza virus uh, reared its ugly head. Okay. Um, and it, it, it was found in Chicago. And now um, it's even as close as Raleigh, North Carolina. These dogs are oh. um, developing respiratory illness, coughing, sneezing, lethargy, high fever. Um, dogs who go to dog shows, ward frequently, uh, go to dog parks, doggy daycare, grooming facilities. These are the dogs that are most at risk and are the dogs right. who are showing the worst signs. But fortunately, there's been no reported cases in Virginia yet. Okay. So that's the point of today is really to tell people what to be on the lookout for and how they can prevent their dog from getting the flu. Yeah, absolutely. So what are a few tips that you have? We do have a vaccination for the new strain. Okay. Um, fortunately, it, um, it covers both of the flu strains, the one that was from uh, several years ago and the new outbreak. So okay. most veterinary clinics have the new, what's called a bivalent vaccine, so two strains. Um, it requires two different vaccinations, one initially and then boosted in two to four weeks for full immunity. Okay. But the point is, is not to wait. We don't want this outbreak right. to come to Virginia and we're completely unprepared. So telling clients about it now, um, having the conversation about who's at risk, um, okay. getting them immunized. So this is something that, I mean, like us, we just go before flu season, we go and get our flu shots. Mm -hmm. and you can do the same thing for your You pets. can do the same thing for your pet. And is it just dogs? Well, it's ju the vaccine is just for dogs. Okay. However, it has been reported in cases in cats. So oh, okay. uh, they've been exposed to infected dogs through respiratory secretion, sneezing, barking, sharing water bowls, interactions. Okay. So these cats are coming down with respiratory signs as well. Okay, so this is kind of the, the best way that we can prevent it. Correct. Great. Yep, and really is limiting exposure, knowing which dogs are exposed or at risk. Right. So really having that conversation with your veterinarian, is my dog at risk for it? Mm -hmm. uh, do you carry the vaccine? What should I do to be prepared? And okay. Every dog is different, so. And um, if somebody wants to find Vinton Veterans yeah. Hospital, how can they do that? <laughs> you tell them, Derby. Uh, you can call us 342-7821. Uh, find us on our website, um, yeah. www.vintonvet.com. Um, but really, most important thing is, is knowing that your risk and prevention is the key. So washing hands, washing bowls. Great. Thank you so much for coming in. <laughs>